Today we will focus on 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, But God is faithful. If you have heard the podcast for this week, you would have seen that it is a series on But God. But God is a strength. But God meant it good for me. But God was with Joseph. But God is gracious. But God knows the way. But God shall supply all my need. Today is the last in the series, but God is faithful. If you have missed the other talks in the series, you can call the number that will be shared and we will be happy to send you the information. But God is faithful. The Bible says, if we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. Faithfulness is part of his character. It is incomparable. There is no one like him who is consistently faithful in all that he does and says. They are unfailing. He continues to be faithful no matter what the situation is. You may have moods and may be inconsistent in keeping your promises, but not the Lord. His faithfulness continues to all generations. He is faithful in His counsel. His ways are always right. When you find yourself in a season of hardness of heart, a broken spirit, long-suffering, indifference, or complacency, depend on the faithfulness of God. You will receive His life-giving promises and heart-changing truths. He is faithful in forgiving your sins. It does not matter how big and how recent it is. He is faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He does not hold it against you. It is one thing to know that God is faithful. But then how does it matter to you and me? If you want to experience the faithfulness of God, then trust Him with your life. Hold on to His promises and see the fulfillment of it in your life. Faith in the God's faithfulness requires complete trust. The Bible says, Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. To what extent do you trust Him? Peter, an expert fisherman, fished all night and caught nothing. The effort was fruitless, time invested was unproductive, and also the boat was empty. Jesus used Peter's boat to teach the people, and he also asked Peter, push the boat a little bit into the shore and cast your net on the other side. I don't know what you would do, but I will hesitate. Peter, after experiencing failure in his own field of fishing, did not hesitate. He did not question the wisdom of God, nor did he doubt the word of God. He just obeyed. What Peter experienced was unbelievable. Jesus did a miracle in the same place where Peter experienced failure. My friend, that is exciting. You too will experience God's faithfulness in the place where you have experienced failure, uh, your disappointment. He will turn that surrounding as a perfect setting to experience the faithfulness of God. How can you do that? Hand over your concerns to Him. And wait patiently, obediently for him to accomplish his purpose through these situations. And I'm sure that you too will say, but God is faithful. And it's my prayer that all the series that we have done on but God, 
you will go through it and be strengthened and have a great understanding of who this living God is and experience Him as your Lord and Savior. For feedback, please write to us to info at febaonline.org or WhatsApp us to 9163642521640.